Holy shit, welcome everyone to Phoenix Ray, Ace Attorney. Uh, it's, the camera, how do you feel? It's the final day. You have to get, it's either do or die. You know, I'm feeling as spiky as Phoenix Wright's hair. Dude, <laughs> you feel like a porcupine? Yeah. Yeah, I I'm can't. feeling like a hedgehog right now. Yeah, hey, you gotta go fast. <laughs> they don't, they don't call me a hedgehog. They call me an edge hog because I be edging my hog all day. <laughs> What a way to great way to <laughs> What a great way to start this recording. <laughs> well, do you remember what we did in the last one? Uh, we got, we got, we got, uh, we got, we got, yeah. Perfect. The yeah. court is now a session for the trial. Of <laughs> we 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 saw we saw D Vasquez, you know. D Vasquez. Yeah, we saw that bitch, and she was like. You yo, where, yo where, where, where the fuck you get this photo at? This is a cool photo. Let, let's, let's go in my trailer. My yeah, and, and she then, almost murdered her. And then, and then we're like, we're like, wow, that's a pretty cool trip. Where are your clothes at? And then five big brolic black guys just came out of out, out of nowhere, and and they, they 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 were very threatening looking. Might have been might have been nice guys, but they were very scary. Yeah, and then Detective Gumshoe came in and saved us, and uh, we still had the photo and all the, uh, this other crap. So yeah, and he did keep his mewing streak. Yeah, he, bro was there ain't a day that goes by that he ain't mewing. Yeah, he was mewing before we knew it was called mewing. Yeah. So anyway, any, anyways, start starting out the, the episode uh, in the trial. Um, I don't know how this trial is gonna go down at all. You, it's do or nine, man. You gotta <laughs> either get him off now or never. Uh, here, I'm gonna present the judge my attorney badge. You can't do that, man. Here, <laughs> move over. Oh, we got get a full him. row of people. Yep. Present on the day of the crime. Present on the day of the crime. It doesn't say she's the leader of a freaking a mafia. mafia. <laughs> but, anyways, if you want to hear my opinion on on this, actually, I just realized I don't know, watch we have the other. Yeah, watch the other fucking episode, you degenerate. Yeah. Cameron spent five minutes at the beginning just going over everything. Yeah, I think I think I think <clears throat> she done it. Okay. I now think, you just gotta prove it. I think you know, homeboy over here was was sick of her shit, sick of being blackmailed. Was like, I ain't trying to do that shit anymore. I, I want to be a I I want to be a star. And then she was like, Nah. -uh. And he was like, The fuck you mean? <laughs> and then <laughs> because because Cody said that. Uh, the Steel Samurai was fighting with someone and then they fell, mm -hmm. which makes me think that either it was her or her goons, or it could have been Salmonella, because mm -hmm. they did mention that, um... He's an accomplice, so you think he's an accomplice to the crime? Well, I, th I think, I think that, like, Jack Hammer was trying to, like, come after her, and Salmonella was like, I was like, Oh, you, you can't do that. And then he, and then he like stepped in and and he said, he said, back off, loser. And then pushed him and he yeah. fell. And I died. can't wait. I'm gonna show you this entire episode when we, when I show you the anime. <laughs> this should be very interesting. Yeah. All right. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Your Honor, can you define what decisive evidence is? <laughs> Very well, Mr. Edgehog. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session- Did you just call me Edgehog? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's got an edging streak that goes on for days. <laughs> the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. Yeah. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. What? Mm, very well. Well, the thing that thing that I'm curious about at this point... Uh, yeah. Edgeworth is presenting, like, you know, some people that were in Studio 2. It's just will Powers was not there. Yeah. Like... Well, well he's well, probably gonna bring out D. Vasquez. Because well, Salmonella well, said that he was there, and they always like, Oi, we, 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 well, well, yeah, I know, but like the whole point of this trial is it's the, it's the trial against Will Powers. So, the way that this game works is that if they don't find the real criminal, the other one that they just say they, oh, the yeah, defendant's guilty. No other party couldn't have done it. That get used to that shit in this in this game. Well, yeah. That yeah. even it, like, yeah, we know for a fact at this point that Will Powers was definitely asleep in his trail, but because they don't have a different person to blame it on, 
willpowers will just become guilty. Well, I guess there is still, <laughs> It's just like, the way it is. There is still, like, a quote-unquote reasonable suspicion that he was the Steel Samurai. Like, mm -hmm. there's still, like, a very minute chance he was the Steel Samurai that came by, so it's still plausible in some, in some... But, like, if this was a real court case, yeah, you, the charges would just be dismissed. Yeah, he would be filed not guilty, and they would try to find a new suspect, but... That's not how this game works. <laughs> Yeah. You either have to find the other, like, the real culprit, or the other person just becomes guilty. <laughs> hmm, very well. Edgelord, see, <laughs> seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> oh, do you want to wear the headset? No, that's alright. Okay. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgelord. The prosecution calls Miss D's Nuts to the stand. <laughs> Got him! Misty's Nuts is a producer who was present in a Studio 2 trailer that day. Oh, great. I get to talk in this voice for a little bit. <laughs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? Divesquez. I'm a producer of Global Studios. Also, I don't know what fucking accent I'm doing. Just don't bear with me here. <laughs> On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. And you must pontificate. Pontificate. Do it when I'm not here. You fucking bit. <laughs> but very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Thanks, Kill but... her. Yeah. <laughs> Stab her. <laughs> oh yeah. <dear. laughs> right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down, or so to speak. Literally. Yeah. I want to see her with her pants down. Yeah, you just pull her pants down in the middle of this trial. I entered this trailer a little, a little before noon. The meeting went at twelve sharp. It ended at four. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At two thirty, we took a fifteen-minute break in the meeting room. Sally and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I had them take me in that. I thought they might be risky to walk. Why? With with what that monkey toppled over? <laughs> van. I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad we have a van as evidence. I now. got a van. <laughs> I I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. All right, Maya. Godspeed, my friend. All right, the day of the murder. I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. Objection. Relevance. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in in the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? <laughs> yes. Oh dear. <laughs> Meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. Did no one leave during that meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. <laughs> he, just went, he like slammed his hand like he had a really good point and then he just went back to normal. Yeah. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. I, <laughs> you guys can't see it, but Cameron keeps doing the poses based off of what everyone's doing. I should do that too. Wait. Oh shit! Wait, hand me my fork from my from my Quinova real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna spill shit everywhere. No, just just wipe off whatever's on there. I'm not doing that. Bitch! Here, I'll you just. You can use... grab your cookies. <laughs> <laughs> the same go. Oh, and please stop bantering on your desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> you fucking bitch! There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when was that exactly? I forgot. A woman of short words. Maybe you're. Maybe you should try to remember. No. no. <laughs> the meeting ended at four, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. 
I would think it was between those times. You... you would think? Come on, all, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what they, what they just said. I had Sal take me to Studio 2's van. Oh, oh right. <laughs> At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oh. Oops. That was a 15 minute break. Fell and I ate T Bone steak on the table in front of the trailer. Was it Van say we didn't even get to read it? Oh, that's true. Yeah. But it, um. M fuck. Mm. Salmonella used this van to drive Vasquez to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. Oh. Did. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. N no, I mean, someone else? One person is enough. She committing murder during the break. She wouldn't have time to eat the T bone steak. If I had some evidence to prove that she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kinda wish she had said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Rancher's trailer. Oh, okay, so it's just repeating. A little before noon. I. Yeah. What little piece of evidence do we have? It said he died at 2 30. Died at 2 30. Dragon one leg at 2. That's the map. There's a spear. Have we used a spear at all during any of this? I don't think so. Okay. Blocked. Uh, shows an accident. Sleeping pills. That's in the employee area. Okay. She entered a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the, me in the meeting. Hmm. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks at the, at the table in front of the trailer. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck you're supposed to do here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know either. No, nothing's screaming obvious to me. Well, didn't Phoenix give a hint at, um, after you pressed her on this statement? If there, like, if there was only a way to prove that she didn't eat? Yeah, shit, but, but I don't know what to press either. Yeah. Were we supposed to get, like, one of the plates or something? No, because they, they don't let you, uh, continue if you don't have all the evidence. Yeah. I don't- I don't know. I genuinely don't- I mean, this one doesn't seem very obvious. I didn't find anything. Kinda wish she had a bit more to say. It's hard to think she's being boss. You know, if it's a controversial in there. Maybe so, some, well, the autopsy said that at 2.30 he died, and they had a break right at 2.30. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> Wrestle afterwards, we went to Studio One. Hmm. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Yeah, after four, the, after their meeting was done, the monkey would have been moved. 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Yeah, it feels like it would be something here, but... <sighs> oh, you did it! Ha, huh, as I thought, I guess. You claim to eat a T-bone steak. But, I say you didn't. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this plane! 
It's a plate. That's what I said. <laughs> this plate was on the table in the employee area. As you see, a large bone was left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Yeah, but the T-bone you- Exactly my point! Remember, if you will, Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manella were at the table outside the trailer. Yep, there's no bones left in those plates. The plates were bare! I don't like her face. Ms. Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate the bone! <laughs> you ate the bone, too. I, I want to say that so bad. You gnawed on it like a dog. <laughs> you ate a boneless steak. You didn't eat any steak during the break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere like that incinerator. Went back to normal. Uh, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during your break? Murder! Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> she was meeting with the Seal Samurai. Oh, damn. Order! Are you saying. Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. She ran into the Seal Samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your bear. Wow, it's only the first thing we're like, you're guilty! <laughs> guilty! That this man is, is guilty! guilty. <laughs> Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? Objection! Roll I'm it. erect! <laughs> <laughs> Erection! <laughs> what kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Leave. Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fantastic. Oh, fascinating. Shut up. Shut, shut the fuck up! <laughs> and here I was worried that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle with wits, you and I. Any day, Van Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Oh, thanks, Maya. You're gonna need it, you dumbass. Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Oh yes, the, the samurai spear. Yeah? I am, as you see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use a heavy spear as a weapon? Hmm. You couldn't, could you? So she had one of her goons do it. Or salmonella. <laughs> it all leads back to salmonella. <laughs> I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yeah. However, that was- that has no bearing to on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I am very surprised. Look at my face. <laughs> Ooh. The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that this, the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Sleeping pills. <laughs> no, I, th I think it's... He was so sleepy, he had a hole in his stomach. Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by by now to know what when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too with my fade one. Okay, okay, I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing. Oh, I guess that was not the real. Was that, was, that, was that really not it? I guess not. I did click on this one, right? Yeah, I think so. You gonna try it again? That's what? <laughs> that's really not it. I, I thought it was. I thought it would show the. Okay. The van! <laughs> he was hit by a car! You know what I mean? Are we stupid? <laughs> Pierced to the chest by a spear. Maybe you're supposed to spend the autopsy report? May maybe. I don't know, but I mean, the, right, this is the my, photo this, fucking this is my works. guess. Yeah. What are we missing? <laughs> I'll help you get unlimited tries. 
Yeah. Mr. Monkey's head. <laughs> <laughs> what about the van? He could have been running first. Yeah. Wait, my attorney's badge. <laughs> as far as the game hasn't yelled at us yet. That's pretty funny that we get unlimited tries. Yeah. I swear it would have been this. Is it this thing? No. Is it really Mr. Monkey? No, I I, I clicked on Mr. Monkey. Yeah. I present my proof. <laughs> this so-called murder. Uh, okay. Just I'll, roll with it. Okay. I don't know what conclusion he's gonna draw about this. Is yeah, it? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull something out of it. Is it a fake or something? I I don't know. We're gonna find out what Phoenix says. Cause in like, a second. cause the, cause the obvious thing is, like, the obvious conclusion here is that person fell on the spike, right? Yeah. The obvious answer to. We showed the phone and be like, "Here's a spike." I think that was it's literally. The spike was broken, in in this one, and uh, and the obvious thing is just that, hey, uh, well, I guess the obvious thing to the audience is, isn't it kind of ironic that something like this happened five years ago? Yeah. That's that's the point that I'm drawing at, but I guess this is concrete evidence. Yeah. I don't know what Phoenix is gonna say. Yeah, we're gonna see in a second. But that is the murder weapon. Shut the fuck up, Edgeworth. Not so fast! <laughs> Remember that this spear was broken during the morning action sequence run-through. But someone fixed the spear? It was a, it was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who was wearing a thick, thick costume with this through the chest? Oh, that- oh, I- I- I get it. It would break. Yeah. Wish since we had only a duct tape holding it up. Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Oh, uh, the van. <laughs> I'm driving to Studio One. <laughs> Think about what you're- Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what they're saying? If the samurai spear was not the winter weapon, then pray tell what it was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Yeah, now I can present my photo. <laughs> would I be- would I make a claim like that if I didn't tell you what the murder weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Bro. You just got this last one wrong eight times in a row. <laughs> yeah, I just got that dog in me. <laughs> You said that Mr. Monkey's had his evidence. <laughs> yeah. Is it now that I bring this I up? I guess it- Yay! Look at this photograph! I, I hate that I'm like- I'm you were three steps ahead of, of the, yeah, the conclusion the here. Yeah. Look at this photograph. W what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. <laughs> order, order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. No! Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? I am wiggling my finger. <laughs> Let me do it again. Nope. He blinked. Mr. Edgeworth. You still can't see it? See the fallen man in the photo? See how the fence post pierced him through this chest? Wh what? Are you saying... Yeah. Uh. What happened five years ago? It's happening again. Mr. Wright, continue. At two, it's two thirty on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio Two trailer, and then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence, just like Mr. Hammer had done himself five years ago. Though, whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I can't say. In, in other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, 
He died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Yep. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. Some another not good writer. <laughs> you deny what I say is true? Mr. Wright? Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet his body was found at 201, was it not? And then the evil majesty costs him no mess. Are you then claiming that I carried the body from Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of 15 minutes? How could I dispose of a body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? Yeah, with this fucking van. <laughs> <laughs> You're jumping ahead again. <laughs> there wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She, she couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't have dealt with it. I bet she could move it. She had another way. Okay, I feel like all three of these are drawing to the same conclusion. She couldn't deal with it, meaning Salmonella helped her out. I bet she could move it, meaning she had a a vehicle or something mm -hmm. to move it. She had another way, meaning the van. Well, I feel like like she was like, if she couldn't do it, then I'd be like, we're letting her off the hook. Or best she can. They're like, no, she's like a petite woman. There's no way. Like, getting him all the way there, out of the costume, into a new costume, and then going all the way back. I guess, I guess I didn't want you to pick three. Yeah, I think that this is the most logical one. What if she had another way of carrying the body, other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for a matter, for actually for that matter, there's no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there is a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Look at this van. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes his head. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it. She's a woman of few words. Recall your testimony. There was a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before anyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistry costume. Objection. Also, if Sal was driving, she was just in the back because she could have just been getting him ready in the costume. Yeah. Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? No. Oh, of course Sal Manella was, has to be a conspirator. The body had been placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. Ah, the incinerator. They had to, because it was covered in Miss H Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burnt it with that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. I will have you executed tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have already ordered a hit on you. <laughs> yeah, but... Prepare to see red dots everywhere you go. <laughs> I lose, you win. It was fun. I win? <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's wait, that's the shortest trial ever. Um so what happens next? Don't me <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean D. Vasquez? So it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? <laughs> <laughs> this trial is weird. <laughs> Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Ray? We just think. Engage in a battle of wits. 
And the result of that battle? You proved there was a possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right? But... But there is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack definitive proof, Mr. Wright. What? Huh? What? <laughs> Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Uh, 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 <laughs> Bro, come on, he's hot. Don't let him do this. Uh, of course, it's, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. What? Edgeworth isn't sure? Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> you did it. Testify again. No further <laughs> no questions. No further questions. <laughs> You're free to go. <laughs> well, she just said, you got no questions? I'm fucking leaving, yeah. I would like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all of there is. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You ask the same questions, you get the same answers. A waste of time. Uh, damn! Damn it! <laughs> to come this far only to fail! As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Okay. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> I did <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when that was gonna show up! <laughs> uh, I see. Very well. <laughs> Your Honor. I request that the witness testify again. You are a prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does it make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see why we have anything to gain by repeating this sub the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Oh. Hmm, well, yes, um... <laughs> Indeed, verily, I say. Ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. Oh! After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. I wish she had the headphones, because then you could hear, like, the fucking music go... Like, go fucking up when, when Edward's like, mm, uh, yeah, uh... <laughs> Nick! Why did Edward... Who knows? He probably realizes that she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that. Edgeworth. After finding the body, it was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Obag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it. I asked to be left out for the precincts. I went back to the trailer to get my script and director's notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Wait, am I stupid? Didn't we have to get her a script? Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her neck. Right. That is true. We did have to get her a script. Maybe she's like, I'm trying to find a script and Sal had it, but it was actually... Uh, I mean, it, she could be talking about another script, yeah. but... That was... Oh, okay. What time was it? We had a meeting at five for the rehearsal. So I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manal arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. Yeah, the monkey would have been gone. I wasn't. I wasn't stuffing any bodies in costumes, mind you. Hmm. Press harder, back off. Were any of the other employees? 
Oh, uh, where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well... Then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh. What did... What did I say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy! <laughs> the witness will continue her testimony. Yeah, yeah, bitch! The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? That there was a dead body laying in front of us. Yet you expect me to be called? You certainly seem calm enough when I you were when I was accusing you of murder. <sighs> hmm. Fuck it. We ballin'. We do ball out here. Wait a second. Wouldn't it be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his Seal Samurai costume, Powers really didn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting a location. No one noticed he was missing. More Powers. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I'm like, damn, tough break. <laughs> hmm, well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. I immediately called the police and power showed up. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silence, complete silence. So we stood there until powers arrived at the scene. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Then silence, dead silence. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> silence. Hey, hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. Like, shoot a gun off of you. <laughs> <laughs> the security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. Old... Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers have done it? She said because she saw him go towards the studio. Right, the steel samurai. Did a detective arrest Mr. Powers solely based off of the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seemed to have also had decis she she seemed to also have given that detective the photograph. Of course, I heard all of this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Right. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to power. Sorry, camera. Hmm. I think there's. I don't think there's anything here I can use. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. <laughs> you asked to be left out? Yeah, yes. It seemed like everyone there was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. They would have found out that was part of the mafia. <laughs> but you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They are nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting. And there was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot of writing on this of all those big wings at the meeting. <laughs> she can do a lot of writing. I'm sure her professionals help convince people that they don't require questioning. I went back to the trailer and did my script and direction notes. Man! <laughs> <laughs> I press right. This script in your direction notes? Yes, they were quite valuable. I wouldn't... I wouldn't do anything... I wouldn't have anything to do with them. I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to see anyone for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who would have think rehearsing after that? But she just said she discovered the body when she came for rehearsal, how would she have known that there was a murder? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. 
Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me! Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there won't be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and could not have any sen- Huh? How did you know about that injury? How, how do I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. You have to find something to peg this on her here. Yeah, you gotta peg her with it. <laughs> or everything we've done until now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. I'm trying, bitch. Found the security. We found the body. That last statement seems like the one that I'm supposed yeah. to... Present yeah, I immediately would call the police, said so point you did it, left out, I went back. I knew Powers was injured. Oh sorry, I knew Hammer was injured and he wouldn't do any action sequence. So Wait. I feel like it's this one. Yeah. Objection. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the seal samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Powers was dragging his leg in this photo. That- oh shit. Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg in this photo. <laughs> but, th but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured during the run-through that morning. And that person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Sal who told me. That, that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Ms. Vasquez. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but was it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Oh. And when was he doing this? Well, it would have had to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez. You met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Power was in that Steel Samurai suit. Hammer. Fuck. <laughs> and that's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order, order, I will have order. Witness. Witness digging your I mean, but <laughs> can you refute this claim? <sighs> hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. You just see two red dots <laughs> on, on like one on Phoenix and the other one on Edgeworth. Actually, a third one on the judge's bald head. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> stupid as. Betty. <laughs> Betty, well, I have a question for you. Ugh. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want to want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he had fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? 
If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on this matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? <sighs> this van! <laughs> I don't think he can. I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court the evidence that Ms. Vasquez murder for murdered for this murder. Mr. Monkey's Not head. Not the monkey. <laughs> is it the photo again? This is my proof. <laughs> this is. Oh, sorry. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive of this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <sighs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez helping, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, this court currently, currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, the accident predict precipitated precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall, his fall from stardom. His guilt weighed on him, weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, Devasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Bringing us to the present day in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes. Undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the co for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you said. I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men, which is a policy of mine. Mr. Wright. Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Huh. What is your gut telling you? My gut is telling me that she thought it was Will Powers. That's that's my gut feeling when she when she when she killed him. Um, but I don't know what evidence would point to that. Fuck it, we've all. Okay. Allow me to present the court proven the motive. This is my proof. And this tells us why Miss Vasquez wanted to kill Mr. Hammer? I say that it proves that the defense attorney has completely lost his marbles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That, that's honestly worth it. Mr. Wright, the court requests that you find your marbles immediately, and I'm afraid that I have to penalize you for this waste of the court's time. Uh-oh. Nick, we're so close. Think this one through, please. Mr. Wright, I'll ask you again. Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Does she, did she have a... me think no. But I feel like if I say this, I just lose. But I genuinely don't know any... <laughs> what, am I missing something? I can't, I'm not helping you or else I'm gonna get yelled at. <laughs> What's your gut telling you? No. 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 <laughs> no. No, because I already did that. No. 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 I don't know of any reason why this would work. 
What is your gut telling you? <laughs> well, my gut was wrong before. Uh, like, <sighs> I don't know. My gut's telling me that if I say if I say there's no motive, then we're fucked. Just try it, bro. You, you only get penalized too. Oh, oh, even for I thought they would just end the trial. No. <laughs> I mean, sure. She has no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Ms. Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Ms. Vanquez. What? 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 <laughs> Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Oh my gosh, he was trying to frame him. He was trying to commit murder on Vasquez and then blame it on Will Powers. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai's costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security leader in thinking it was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill De Vasquez, who had cruelly taken advantage of him all these years. So, you did it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! There's blood everywhere! They're too late! Uh, Miss V. Vasquez! What, what happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel? Manuel? Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action sequence and. No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vanquez! No! <laughs> please, please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, where is D. Vasquez? In jail, Your Honor. <laughs> In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I, uh, thank you, thank you, Your Honor. Stop. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. <gasps> not guilty. I was I was waiting to see how long it was gonna take you to like <laughs> piece together that he was gonna murder him, like murder her. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. Was that even a possibility in your mind that? Uh, I mean, maybe? I just thought that... I thought he was, like, a better guy than that. Yeah. I, thought, well, I guess when you've been, a, like... He, like, what Old Back said, he was paying... Getting paid in, like, penny... Like, peanuts, basically. Yeah. I guess he was sick and tired of it. I mean, that, I mean that's a good reason, like, why did he have the drug powers to make sure he was asleep enough... Or just dist technically distracted to seal his suit... Well, the, my, my thing with this uh, with this game so far is all the cases have been, like, uh, all the cases so far have been malicious murders. Yeah. And so I thought that this was just another case of that. Well. And she, and she was like, a, she was a mob boss, so I thought she just was like. She was like, hire a hit on this asshole. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but, uh, it's sad. I now know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. Not enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Mr. Monkey! No, not Mr. Monkey! <laughs> Take that. 
It's because you're the steel samurai. Because I was a steel samurai. So he just fucking said. <laughs> Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in kids' shows and the villain to boot. The kids love the steel samurai, and so he hated you. I, I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. Yeah. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. But thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. I mean, I can't wait to see this guy in theaters tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh, oh uh, uh, thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get it back out into that sweaty costume and... Oh, he doesn't know. Is, is something wrong? No, of, of course not. Ah! Nick! Edgeworth! You gonna say anything? <laughs> say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, her, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Me again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. <laughs> I was rock hard during the entire <laughs> trial. <laughs> unnecessary feelings? <laughs> Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. No, no come back! <laughs> uh, Mr. Wright? Was, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if! They're rivals, rivals, romantic rivals, right, Nick? For now, we are. I guess. Yeah, even Phoenix is like, maybe maybe a good enemies to lovers is what I need to spice up my life. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Dude, we're, we're gay. I'm sorry for not telling you. They're gay. <laughs> and so the curtains closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by, ac by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought their programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. <gasps> Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kinda surprised. I didn't think they'd actually seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? When he gets to play the pink princess? <laughs> I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world was ready for the real world willpowers. I'm just imagining she's in the fucking princess set. <laughs> Alright, how did you feel after all this? Well, I was right on some things, wrong uh, on some others. A new episode has been added. Oh, shit. I'd recommend just staying on this, because <laughs> this this one's a the fan favorite. This is the top. This is where shit goes gets real. All right. Okay, man, Ed Edgeworth is really being edged right now. Look yeah. at him. He's like he's like he's like oh my edging streak. <laughs> I gotta keep gooning around here. Yeah. So, final thoughts. It was it was pretty good. Uh, I I thought Salmonella was a little bit more involved. Mm -hmm. Than, than uh, than in reality, but um, I guess he's just some loser. Yeah. So my my thought process was that he was he was involved in some regard, which I guess was true. Yeah. Because he he like drove. drove I feel like he wasn't whatnot. like she didn't tell him anything. He just she was like just throw at the van, and she was he was like yes, ma'am. Can I look your to <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> like I, shit like that. I thought I thought he was gonna be like partly the villain, uh, but. Interesting ending that there was kind of no villain. Yeah. 
I mean, somewhat. She was an asshole to Hammer, and he had any, every right to try to kill her. But his plan backfired, and he died. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit sad that I didn't, I didn't quite get the connection till the end there, but it happens. Even the smartest people miss sometimes. Yeah. But I, I will tell you this for this new episode. I... I don't think I'm allowed to help you at all with this and whatnot. I think people will be really mad at me if I help you with this. This is the fan favorite, and everyone loves this episode a lot. All right, I'm gonna try my best. No, no saying you know. They, the people have watched the rest of these. I'm not a hundred percent on all of these things. Yeah. I, th- I think two steps ahead, three steps backwards. Sometimes I think, I think it will help if you say like your theories and some of the stuff out loud. And what not of what you're thinking, because I, I mean, the way that you were phrasing this stuff from, I think, an episode or two ago of, like, all this shit, I'm like, damn, he's really nailing this on the head, and I can't say yes or no. I have to, like, sit here at Stonewall and be like, that is the stupidest theory I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll just, like, I'll say, I'll say some stuff. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely right. Who knows? Yeah. But also, I'm glad you picked up on the gay shit at the end. <laughs> Unnecessary feelings. feelings for another man, preferably with spiky hair and <laughs> in a blue suit. We're like, huh? I wonder who he's talking about. <laughs> that, that's that's crazy. You should you should go like be with them or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in the next one, we start episode four. Yep, can't wait. And yep. then I start my gooning streak. Yeah, we're gonna be gooning a lot. Yep. Anyways, till next time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye.